Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be reacting to the Batman Joker deleted scene. I wasn't a big fan of the scene in the actual movie where he appeared. So hopefully this gives us a little bit more and a little better. I looked right into what Matt Reeves said about the character and how he really got affected by this uh, bat of acid that he fell into. And that's why his face looks like that. And that still I saw and the way he's acting is that that's why he has a permanent smile. I like the realistic take on that. Let's see how the scene is. I'm going to react and then I'll break it down a little bit. Let's go. Oof. Joker's hair has some better days. Jeez. Everything is intentional, it builds up. It's not fast moving in this in this movie, in this universe. Even with this. Mm. Present. Whoa. Oh, it's your anniversary, isn't it? Hmm. There's a serial killer. Anniversary. I want your perspective. First anniversary games, paper. First, first. Why makes you think I come so cheap? I thought you'd be curious. You think I go off of this stuff? Don't you? You have pictures. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I laugh. A little bit. It's violence. It's so baroque. Oh. He makes little puzzles, doesn't he? He's so meticulous. Yeah. Like he's been planning this his whole life. He's a nobody. Wants to be somebody. The mayor, the commissioner. Yeah. He's got ambition. You think his motive is political? Oh no, no, no. This is very, very personal. He feels these people have all wronged him. Probably goes way back. Unhealed wounds, stolen much money. Why is he writing to me? Maybe he's a fan of yours? <laughs> or maybe he's got a grudge against you too. Maybe you're the main cause. Any theories? Not yet. Really? You're normally so ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> but something is different this time. This is very upsetting to you. Let's get back to him. Why? You are so much more fun. I'm not here to talk about me. What are you here to talk about? I want to know how he thinks. You know exactly how he thinks. Have you read this file? You two have so much in common. Masked Avengers. So he's even more righteous. <laughs> oh, you afraid he makes you look soft? <laughs> You're wasting my time. I think 
You don't really care about his motives, whether he loves or hates you. I think somewhere deep down, you're just terrified. Cause he's wrong, huh? You think they deserved it, huh? You think they deserved it. <laughs> I got... Whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I really enjoyed the Batman movie. Uh, I thought that is the best Batman movie. If you saw my review, you, you know that how I feel about this movie. I have two feelings about what I just saw. One, I understand why this was cut from the movie. Because the Joker revealed a lot of the mystery involving... Uh, the movie itself and, and the aspects of does the Riddler know who he is? Why is, you know, is Batman the one of the main courses? Obviously, this is spoilers. If you if you didn't see the movie, you shouldn't be watching this anyway. Uh, and I think that that's why this was removed. It would have made a lot of those things that happened in the movie when he met up with the Riddler redundant. Also, it would have been another interrogation scene as well. And it, this would this would have overshone. The Riddler one. So I, I completely understand why they deleted this. On the other side of this, I, I absolutely love this. I think that from the jump, it felt exactly how Joker and Batman is supposed to be. Joker having this playful relationship. Well, at least he feels like it's a playful relationship with Bruce Wayne and Batman. That the, the whole, like, my anniversary, our anniversary together, and you're just serving me papers. Like, he feels like he's in this marriage with Batman. And I love that he played on that really well. But this is the most disturbing looking Joker we've gotten so far. And it makes sense. He fell into a vat of acid. He shouldn't look clean and nice like he always has. And obviously, the Heath Ledger Joker touched on this. And Matt Reeves is taking it another step with the way this guy's look. His hair, the scars, the deformity of his teeth is just... He, he's. The Joker is supposed is a monster. And he's supposed to be a monster. I feel like he's been romanticized a little bit too much lately in media, and I think I, we got to get back to him being this disgusting person. And I really, really like this. I was kind of wary of the Joker maybe becoming the villain for the second movie or doing another Joker again. But after this, I want a whole trilogy of this, these three going back and forth. This was this felt like straight out of the comic, straight out from the animated series. Batman and Joker relationships, those animated movies that DC's really good at doing and finally adapting it to live action. I think this executed it very well. Now the performance from Barry, who plays Joker, he was also in Eternals, he's been in a lot of other great movies. I think he did a great job 90% of this. I think that the movement, his meticulousness on how he moved and how he did everything was really, it would fit within this universe the way he looked at him, the way he looked at him, the, the the when he got excited, when he didn't get excited, he did a great job. He felt like the Joker. The only thing that didn't hit for me was the laugh. I, you know, the Joker laugh is to me is very, very important. It's iconic. Mark Hamill still does it the best. Um, but this particular laugh, I thought was okay. But it is his first time, and it's also a scene that got cut out of the movie. So hopefully when we do get to see him in the sequel or the third movie, which I hopefully he's the villain in the third movie, not the uh, the second movie, uh, it's better. But overall, I thought this was great. I understand why it was cut out of the movie, but I'm glad we got to see it. I'm excited to see more of this in the future for the next Batman and the next time Joker's in here. This, this was phenomenal. But I know some people probably don't like it. Let me know how you feel about it in the, the comments down below. How you feel about this this deleted scene. Do you think it should have stayed in the movie? You know, it's five minutes. So it would have made the movie exactly three hours. Um, or you completely hate this. Or you're over seeing Joker or Batman. Because we've gotten so much of it. Yeah, drop those thoughts down below. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what other things you want me to react to, review, um, have a discussion about. And you can watch more right now.